optimizing and personalizing your booking page is half the battle to get it to your specifications and everything that you need. But getting other folks to book is the other half of the battle. So how are you supposed to increase bookings, right? And we have uh, set up here in the share option in the top right, you have all of the options to share your page. So the real high level ones are copying the link, pasting it in social media sites or sending it an email using one-time booking links for one-off uh, meetings. And then we also have these other social options where you can share it to social media, share it directly onto those platforms, share it in direct messages, or use the QR code for a physical collateral like brochures, postcards. But the, the really pro version is using the embed. And what this allows you to do is set up your booking page directly onto your own website that you manage and you can control. And there's three different options that we give you. First is just an inline embed where it just shows the booking widget, if you will. And then that can be on like a web page on your website, which is like slash schedule as an example. And then we have inline buttons or text. So that's more for like calls to action that you want to add within your website. And then finally we have the floating button. So that's just going to be a persistent button that is in either the bottom right, bottom left of your website. That's always there to encourage people to book a time with you. So all three of these are options that you can add to your website. And it's really simple to do. It's just a matter of copy and paste. So if we go into the inline embed as an example, we can hide the details in the footer. So all of the bits about the introduction text, all of that is taken out. So we can just grab this text here and then paste it into an HTML element on your website. So if it's WordPress, um, you can just do that directly into a code block. A lot of the other website builders um, will have a code block like Squarespace and Wix. You can just add a code block and then just copy this code and add it there. And then your booking page will show up on your website. And I'll show you all these in a moment of how they all work on, on a website. And then inline is gonna be similar with the copy and paste, but this is we can create a button or a text. So um, we'll just say schedule now. And if we have it display as a text link, then it's just gonna be a little hyperlink on your site that's going to trigger a pop-up, right? As soon as somebody clicks it. Or you can make it a button and design the button on how you want it to look. And again, hide the event details if you needed to. So you're just copying this embed code and pasting it into your site wherever you want that button or that link text to appear. And again, I'll show you in a moment how this all works in, in real time. And then finally, we have the floating button. And similar to their other options, we add some text here. We can adjust the icon if we wanted to change the icon and then adjust the positioning on where you want this button to appear. So it can actually be in the top left, top right, a bottom left or bottom right of your website. And it will always kind of live and float on top of your site on every page or on every page that it's, uh, the code is added to. So you can add this to the head section of your website and have it be on every page or just add it to specific pages, like whatever you, you wanted to do. So those are the three really professional options that you can have to embed your booking site directly on your domain in an effort to increase conversions and increase bookings. So now I'll show you how those look in a WordPress environment. So here I am inside of a WordPress site. Um, and these, these steps that I'm gonna lay out for you are gonna be for all of the major website editors. So what we essentially need to do is we need to add a new module. And here I'm just gonna add a CTA right after this heading text. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna search for something that says code or embed or something along those lines. Once we get that set up, we'll see a little box here. And do you remember that code that we copied from the previous side? We're gonna go ahead and embed it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that code. Okay, so I have the code here for our button and I'm gonna go ahead and save that. You know, we see the text here, start your project. We see the link that it's clicking to you and all of that good stuff here. So I'm gonna set that up here. Um, the other thing to notice when you're in a builder of some sort, you may not see anything on the editor. So it's just gonna be on the live page because the script essentially has to go to You Can Book Me and grab some information. So inside of the editor, it may just appear um, like nothing is there, but on the live page, you'll see in a moment that that will show up. So then what we're also going to do is we're also gonna add the um, inline embed. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get that set up here. So I'm just gonna add a new section and I'm gonna make this just a full width section and I'm gonna add that code block again. But in this case, what I'm gonna do for the code is I'm gonna grab our inline embed code. So it's gonna be a little bit different because it's not gonna have any button information. So here's the inline embed and all we're doing is basically just saying that we want to have this be the page that we're gonna display. We're gonna go ahead and hit save. 
And then now just below that, I'm gonna add one more um, little widget, and this is gonna be our pop-up. So I'm gonna go ahead, and this can be placed anywhere on the site for the pop-up, and it can be in like a header as well onto every page or on specific pages. So I'm gonna grab that code here. So I have here the code for the floating button, and we're gonna go ahead and add it here, and then we're just gonna save the page. So again, all of the editors that you're going to be using, whether it's WordPress here, I'm using Divi as the builder, or Squarespace, Shopify, anything like that, will have a little code snippet that you can use. So I'm going to take a look at the live page here and refresh, and we should see our buttons appear here. So we see our button here that we added right after the headline here that will show a pop-up and allow people to book. And then we also see our floating button that we added here, same flow that folks can book and that will be persistent anywhere that that code is set up and you can adjust how that's spacing and, and where that's showing up. And then if we scroll further down, we have the inline. So this is gonna be, again, that same flow here, allowing people to book and you can set up either of these options on your site, all three of them, anything that you want to configure, you can adjust it with these different embed options. So I hope that this helps.